Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. In the previous videos of this Arduino AI Vision Sensor tutorial series, I told you what a Husky Lens is, what you can do with it, and how you can connect Husky Lens to Arduino. How about a robot? Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can make an object tracking robot using Arduino. In the next video, we will start with face recognition using Arduino. So make sure you don't miss the future videos by clicking the subscribe button here. If you want to know more about this Husky Lens, please check out my previous videos. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. They deliver high quality PCB faster and cheaper. Now let's get started. First we will take a look at the circuit of this project. As you can see, this is a simple L293D motor driver controlled by an Arduino. The input power is connected to a 7805 regulator. 7805 is a 5V regulator which will convert an input voltage of 7 to 32 volt to a steady 5V DC supply. The 5V supply is connected to voltage input of Arduino as well as logical operations of L293D motor driver IC. There are indicator LEDs across 12V and 5V terminal for EC troubleshooting. So you can connect an input voltage anywhere between 7V to 32V to this circuit. You can set up the circuit on a breadboard as well as a PCB. Once you get the connections right, you can design the PCB layout. The advantage of PCB is that you can set up the complete circuit without messy wires hanging around. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill the board details in the instant order form. You can change the board thickness, board color, cell color and even the type of finish you want. Please note that some of these add-ons are going to increase the board cost. Before your board goes into production, their team of professional technicians will review your design for any potential error. Once the review is completed, all that is left is to add to cart, make payment and wait for your PCB to arrive. It could take anywhere from 3 to 6 days to be produced depending on the number of boards you ordered. Once you get everything, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. Now let us take a look at the robot chassis. Guys, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. This one I have is one of the best chassis I used to build spinal cracks. If you want this, I will leave the link in the description. Go check it out. You can use the mounting brackets and pieces that comes with Husky Lens to attach it to the chassis. Once you attach the Husky Lens to the chassis, you can fix the assembled PCB and the battery on top of the chassis. Before starting coding, we have to install Husky Lens library for Arduino. In the previous video, I have explained all the steps in order to install Husky Lens from Arduino IDE download to first code upload. If you don't know how to install it, check that video. I will leave the link in the description. Once you have completed setting up the library, you can copy and paste this code to your Arduino IDE. Even though the code is lengthy, it's very simple to understand. First we set up the software serial library which will add an additional serial interface to Arduino at pin 10 and 11 where we connect the Husky Lens. Then we initiate both serial interface at provided board rate. Then we set the pin for driving the motors including enable pins. Then down the program, you will see some functions to drive the motor as well as displaying the Husky Lens output that are read by Arduino. And in this function, you will control the motors. You can set these values according to your needs. Once it is done, select the right port and right port and click on upload. Now how about a test run? Now power on the board and train an object by setting the Husky Lens in object tracking mode. Once the training is complete, you can move the object left or right and the board will start to follow the object. That's cool right? Now you know how to build an object tracking robot using Arduino and Husky Lens. How about a face detection robot? Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss future videos. Stay tuned guys!